Your Majesty. Who are you? Look, we're friends. Please believe us. We want to help. We need to talk to you. We really mean to help you. We're the ones who put the packet under the cushion on your throne. It was you? Yes. I read it all. It's the most monstrous scheme. Jack Lee isn't Jack Lee. Even my prime minister is a traitor. Look, I can't talk to you now. I have to go to a meeting. They're no, no, you for... can't talk to anybody. Not yet. Look, everybody's against you. Even your own daughter-in-law. Especially her. Yes. We need to find the real Jack Lee. What is your concern in this? And why are you interested in me and my country? Why would outsiders come in and want to help us? We have a very large stake in this, Your Highness. The baby that's about to be crowned is my baby. Ah, uh, confessing all your sins, are you? I hope you haven't left any out. You better hurry. Only have five minutes left to live. What do you want, Jerry? I just came down to watch you die. Thought it would make a nice show. You have something all the plastic surgery in the world. It's not going to change the fact that you are a born loser, you are a failure, and you are a disgrace. Who is on top? Who has managed to pull off the most ingenious... Still pretty noisy, too. If you want to waste your last breath on insults. I hear that you haven't even been able to impress a certain young lady friend of mine as yet. Julia? What are you talking about? She's agreed to marry me. Oh, come on, Jerry. You don't believe that, really, do you? I mean, you and I both know that you haven't even quite had your way with her yet, have you? Shut up! As a man, you're a complete failure, Jerry. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. <coughs> you surprised? Here, I've got another surprise for you. Take a look. <coughs> All right, Jerry. You gotta help me get his clothes off. I've got to impersonate him for a change. 